not working. Hey YouTube, welcome to my video. Well, as you can see, this remote that comes with your garage door openers, when you buy them, uh, well, it's been, I had, gosh, probably 10, 12 years since I've changed the battery in this, and well, they finally puked out. And I'm gonna show you how to change those. It's really not too difficult. So I already did one. So I'm actually gonna go in the house and try and get some close-ups of doing this. Uh, the traffic out here is just too, no too noisy. Uh, and I also replaced this in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in this video somewhere. Okay, let's get started in doing the batteries. Okay, I'm in my house and uh, yeah, here's the batteries I got, the 2032s. And uh, yeah, you can get any brand you want. I just grabbed the Energizer. So, here's the remotes. Now I already pried this one open. And I already took out the battery, which is right here. So in order to get these open, let's get this out of the way. Here's, here's one that hasn't been, been opened yet. So you're supposed to just use your clips here. Now, right, right here, you insert the clip and you just twist, and it, it, it's just enough to pop this open, and then you're supposed to go on each side and do the same. You just do a light twist. So, well, let's do this on camera and See if I don't screw up. Okay. I'm trying to do it so everyone can see. So there's the clip. Then it's just twist. There it goes. You can see it broke free. I'm just doing it. There it goes. So it takes a little playing with to pop them apart. Oops, gotta do this side too. So it does take a little uh, force to do it. And there it is. Just pops open. Okay. And let's just take the battery out. They're pretty straightforward. They just they pretty much just pop out. There's they snap in. So you, you definitely want to do it with the lettering facing up when you put a new battery in. So let me just get this out of the way. So these little prongs right here, the battery actually goes underneath it. And then these prongs right here actually snap and hold it down. So you're kind of doing like a scooping motion. So you're doing like, like, like that, and then you're gonna press forward and down. And that's really all there is to it. It only goes down so far, so. Okay, we'll start in the back. See if I can do this on the side so you can see. Try to look through the camera and do this. So we're gonna start in the back. Okay. So I started the back, pressed the back in. Now we're gonna do 
the sides and the front. So I'm just gonna pull down, squeeze each side, and it snaps together. Whoa, too far. Right about there. And then you just put it back in your visor and you're done. Let's go test it. Much better. All right, let's test this one. Here's the other side. Might have to reprogram it. All right, here I am back in the garage. This one remote did not work. And I know why, because I changed the keypad outside in my previous video and had it relearn. So for this, I have to press the learn button and then this button so it learns the remote. So let's go ahead and do that. So hey, here we are finishing up the video. I hope you found this uh, video informative and helpful. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up or even subscribe. Yeah, pretty straightforward process on doing this, uh, not too hard. Uh, yeah, I had to reprogram the one remote since in the previous video, I changed out the wireless uh, keypad. So I had to, such a dummy, I had to relearn this one or have it relearned, let's put it that way. Okay, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.